Hi everybody, it's Malik again on his channel. This method is 100% suitable for a local account as well as a Microsoft account. I made this video on Windows 10, but for Windows 11 and Windows 8 all the steps will be almost exactly the same. Today I will tell you what to do if you have forgotten your Windows PIN or password, and what you can do to gain access to your computer or laptop, if you have already tried to reset your password using other methods, but to no avail. Watch carefully, don't worry, repeat exactly after me step by step and we will succeed. Press and hold the shift key. And you will go, here, and you now need to restart your computer. Click, restart, while holding down the shift key. I'm still holding it, okay, now I just release the shift key up, once it restarted and now you're here in the system recovery options. Click on troubleshoot. Maybe for you this computer is a purchased one or you want to give it to another person, so we need to go to the reset this PC troubleshooting option to remove the password and give access to the computer. To delete the old account data and the old password, you need to delete everything, if it is not important for you to lose this data. But if you want to save your data, then follow the link in the description of my video to another password reset method, videos with other methods are also on my YouTube channel. And so, I click, reset this PC, to end up with a new Windows 10, as if I had just bought this computer in the store. And so here I choose, remove everything, after that the computer begins the process of rebooting. In this window we can choose to download files from the cloud or locally, and if you are not sure that everything is fine with your Windows files and some of them may be damaged, then you need to select cloud download and you will receive a new Windows from the internet. Otherwise, there may be problems. I'm sure that everything is fine with my Windows and I choose to download Windows 10 files locally. If you are going to give away your computer to another person, or you purchase this computer from another person, then you better choose fully clean the drive, this option will completely clean the drive without the possibility of recovering old data and this process will take longer, but if you are doing all this for yourself, then you you can select the function, just remove my files. I choose, just remove my files. In this window, the computer warns you of all upcoming changes, and if you want to do it later, click, cancel, to continue the process you need to click, reset, and we have already finished setting up the process, but one more thing to be said. This reset can sometimes take a long time, and if you are doing this on a laptop, connect the laptop to a power source. And so, I click, reset, and the process of resetting the computer began. For a while you don't have to do anything and you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will automatically restart several times. And so, the main process is over and now we need to make a few settings for our new Windows 10. Here you need to select a region. Yes. Now the keyboard layout, yes. I don't need an extra keyboard, skip. You must agree to the terms of the license. Here I am setting it up for home use. Next. In this window, you can enter your Microsoft account details, but if you forgot your password, then you can create a new Microsoft account and after that create a new password. I choose offline account to create a local account. Here you need to enter the name of the account to manage the computer. Next. I will not create a password and will leave this field blank. Next. Here, I'll just click, accept, and skip the privacy settings. This computer will be for home use. Accept. Cortana has access to more data, and I'm not going to let that happen now, not now. The new Windows 10 welcomes us, there is not much time left to wait.
The process is over and we see the desktop of the new Windows 10, I hope everything went well for you too. Let's see how the activation went, because the activation of the new Windows 10 should happen automatically. I open, Settings. Then I open the section, Update and Security. Here you need to open the tab, Activation. And now we see that Windows 10 Pro is installed on the computer and it is activated by my digital license. In fact, this is a new version of Windows and you will also have many necessary security updates, please do not refuse them. Now I'll go back to the main menu and open the section, Accounts. Here we see that now my Windows is controlled by a local account and its name is Malik. To sign into your Microsoft account or create a new Microsoft account, you need to click here and then follow the system's recommendations. This concludes my video tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I try to answer you every day, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video episode. Good luck!